And I'm like, oh, Halloween. Oh, look, carpet balls. What is that? What is that? All right. Well, we are here at the shop today, obviously. Um, Sage is in the back packing some packages. And I have a Wednesday shop to shop sale to get ready for. So uh, that is tomorrow. But for you, I'll put the date up here because it might not be tomorrow for you. But the date will be up here. Um, so I am doing like a Halloween themed sale, trying to get rid of some of my Halloween items that I've been picking up recently. In addition to that, I might throw in some other stuff. I'm not sure yet, I haven't decided, but I'm trying to have my Halloween items preloaded uh, so that if you can't be there for the sale, you can get in some pre-bids. So uh, that is my goal for today. I will link that sale down below. So if you wanna go see what I have preloaded, you can do that. Uh, and then we're gonna just see what we can do to be productive today. <laughs> Cause it's a shop day. And the goal of shop days is to get stuff done. So um, yeah, let's get to work, here we go. So I pulled out some more Halloween. I think this is one of my favorites. I should probably do a Google image search on her. She's so good. She's probably like Big Lots or something. <laughs> Paid four ninety nine. dollars She's so fun. Uh, the Witch is also fun. Kind of vintage in style. It's made out of like a paper mache. Yeah, that's right. It had a contemporary sticker on the bottom. And then, of course, the Witches. Um, I had some pottery I already have listed. We also have this scary votive holder. This is like a crafty thing I think somebody made. Wow, everybody's speeding by the shop today. It's like a busy day outside. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna photograph these things, get those preloaded, get them added into the sale. And uh, let me go check the, check the tables and make sure I don't have anything else. I think that was it for Halloween. I don't see any more Halloween-y stuff. that was it. I've had a lot of people asking about these carpet balls. I should probably get these listed. I'm pretty sure that these are actually old carpet balls, not contemporary. I'm pretty sure they've got a lot of weight to them. The newer ones are like hollow and decorative. These are like bocce ball weight. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what carpet balls are. Um, there's the little stilt marks from the kiln. So I might have to get those listed. A lot of people ask me. This is my ADH brand. I'm like, oh, Halloween. Oh, look, carpet balls. <laughs> All right. Um, so let me grab a pair of scissors. I'm going to start pulling tags off the Halloween stuff. All right. So it's all photographed. Now I just have to get around to preloading it into the sale. I have to figure out how else I want to be productive. <laughs> I have lots of stuff on the table. I'm thinking of maybe listing some buy it now is over on knickknacks. I've got lots of big things on the table and I always feel really good after I've listed some larger things um, and get got them listed. That's one more step closer to the door. I don't know if you guys saw uh, the video where I picked up all of this Celadon absolutely love this set. I'm trying to avoid buying big sets of dinnerware, but I just can't resist the Celadon. It's just it's so pretty. So I think I'm going to get that listed. That'll get that whole corner cleaned off. And then over here, this candlestick is probably a good buy it now item. It's extremely heavy, so it's not probably something that would do very well at auction because people are going to be turned off by heavy shipping cost. So that's another one that can be a buy it now. And that'll get some uh, the table cleared off. Shelves are actually looking pretty good after the sale the other day. I don't think that payment went through on that must be. That didn't get shipped out. Um, usually after a whatnot sale, if the payment doesn't go through, it just disappears. <laughs> so that must be why that's still hanging around. Because I think Sage got all the whatnot shipments out. So um, we'll just have to figure out what to do with that. But everything else is good. Um, next, we have 
this upcoming Chalet sale. I have a few more of these Pablo Zabal figurines in the car, a few more coming in the mail, um, as well as some other stuff. I actually have to go empty out my car and that includes some of the Pablo Zabal figurines. What's up there? You see a Kit Kat? You like that one? What about, what about that kitty cat? What about this one? You don't want that one anymore? No. What's that? What is it? Look, Laurel, fist bump. Fist bump. Boom. Good job. What do you think? That's a foot. That's a foot. Is that silly? Whoa! Whoa, what is that? 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 With a foot. Fist bump. Yeah. Boom. Whoa! Boom. 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 Wanna go give daddy a fist bump? No. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, okay. Boom. Daddy fist bump. Boom. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> fist bump. Boom. <laughs> Sage. Yeah. Fist bump. <laughs> boom. <laughs> fist bump. Boom. 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 <laughs> Boom. Kika. It's not a kitty cat though. Kika. Kika. What's this kitty cat? You like that one? You like that one? Kika. Kika. Now you have two. What? That's a horsey. Kika. What you pick? Kika. That's horsey. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're shopping? Okay. This Kit Kat? That's a good Kit Kat. Kit Kat! <laughs> baby! No, that and that. No, baby. No, baby? No, baby. No, baby? Fist no. bump? Boom. Boom. Kitty Boom. fist bump. Boom. 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 The boom. Guess what time it is, Odie? Baby. It's time to go home. No. Yes. Bye bye. Yes, yeah, time to go bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye time to go bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing now. <laughs> you won't be in a minute. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so one special thing I wanted to do for our sellers on Knickknacks was to offer little sticker packs so that uh, if they're a seller on Knickknacks, they can uh, stick these in their packages or maybe hand them out or somehow offer them to promote knickknacks. So I'm not sure what my cost on these were. I ordered, I think, 5,000, 2,500, um, because the more you order, the less your cost is. So I wanted to, uh, to offer these to our knickknacks sellers at like a cent or two above my cost and uh, put them up on knickknacks. Look at them, look at them, these stickers. Um, but I thought that would be really fun. Also, I have other stickers in here, too. <laughs> I'm going to start including these in our uh, sticker packs that we have available on Knickknacks. 
There should be more. There's a crazy lamp lady. I just love this. This is the marshmallow. This is our marshmallow coffee that we'll come up with soon enough. Here's a little uh, French vanilla dogs. I don't know why my camera's having such a hard time focusing these days. Um, and then the wolfhound is in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. The Irish wolfhound. So I'm going to add those to our sticker packs. But in the meantime, I'm going to count how many stickers we have in one of these packs. And uh, then I'm going to load them up on knickknacks. And maybe we'll offer one of these packs. And uh, yeah. All right. So, um, I think I'm going to price some stuff for the booth while we're here. We've got some big stuff cluttering up the table. I took pictures of that salad on, but there's some stuff that's just really booth stuff. So I figured I'd grab some post-its and stick them around and let Sage know whenever she's ready that we can get some stuff over into the booth. Now we just got to find a pen. That's like the ultimate struggle around here is where are the post-its? Where are the pens? Okay, so this over here, I was really surprised it didn't sell in my uh, knickknack sale today. I was like, oh, all right, nobody wants that? Cool. <laughs> it started at $18. Um, I think that because it didn't sell, I'm going to move my cat over. Cat's not for sale. Uh, I'm thinking since it didn't sell, I could probably uh, stick that into the booth. I put 65 on it. I honestly don't remember how much I paid for it, but... I think it was less than 65. I'm kind of obsessed with this thing. <laughs> I got this when I was in Florida. I feel like it's been hanging around for so long. I could totally see this with some iced tea or something. Some sun tea. My mom used to make sun tea all the time when we lived in Cape Cod. I remember her putting it on the porch and making sun tea. Not like this particular container, but I could totally see somebody making sun tea in this. This can go over to the booth as well. Um, I bought one of these once. I bought it from a cocky, cocky pock, poppycock emporium at um, Emmitsburg Antiques. And uh, she, the the booth owner had painted like beautiful florals on the lid. It was, it was nicer because she had embellished it. But I think this is still pretty nice. Um, so I would put... 35 on this and the reason I'm pricing it at 35 is because I want about 25 to 30 out of it and I'm running a 20% off sale on my booth so I'm pricing things higher than I normally would with that in mind so um so we'll price it at 35 there's a fun picture I never could figure out who makes that one um it's only marked Stoneware made in USA on the bottom. Oh yeah, remember I said I was gonna put this in the booth. A lot of I had a lot of requests to list this online. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the booth, and if it doesn't sell in the booth, it comes back here. And nine times out of ten, I'll run it online. Um, but first stop is the booth, and if it doesn't sell, it'll cycle back through. I'm trying to focus on the smaller things because I know I have to sell some smaller things in the booth. I'm always just so brainwashed to, to put the big things through the booth. And I'm like, come on, Jocelyn, pick some smaller stuff. Um, <laughs> I got this weirdo bird. Like, these are things, though, that I'm like, $5? I think I was actually surprised that this thing's worth like 12 to 18 Um... All right, let me put a price on these things. Speaking of big things, how about this Hager planter? 150, 157 is the mold mark. We're running out of space over here because I'm picking all big things. Scoochie, scoochie. I'm thinking like 18 on that. Now I could probably get more money for this if I listed it online and I let it sit for a while. I don't want to do that. So I'm listing it, I'm putting it in my booth for a lower price, and I'm hoping that someone's going to come along and be like, oh, that's a good deal, and they're going to take it with them. I got it at Goodwill, so I got a good deal on it myself, and so that's how we keep it moving. That's definitely not vintage, but I really like it, so I'm going to put it in my booth. What did I decide about this thing? That's marked. Brown's Pottery. Handmade. Arden. Arden? 
North Carolina. It's like a, a letter holder, maybe? Okay. All right. Um, I got this bird at auction recently. It came in a lot. And it is Hager. It's mauve. Ooh. <laughs> I already have one. Um, so I have no problem selling this. Scooch that over. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much it's worth. I was thinking like 42 on it, but let me just double check. Okay, so my phone's having a hard time focusing lately. <laughs> just like me. <laughs> um, but it looks like a pair of the pheasant sold for 80 bucks. So I don't think I was too far off thinking like around 42 for just one. Um, so I'm going to price that. Uh, let's do 45 and then obviously at 20% off, that would be nine bucks. Okay. So maybe 48, right? Yeah. That's about what I want to get for it. All right. I think I'm going to leave it at that for now. It's not a bad little, uh, little refresh of the booth. I wish I could do better, but I think I'm done. All right. So I realized this video was a little bit short. <laughs> it was a... It was a busy day, but I didn't really film a whole lot. Obviously, um, I was live multiple times today on knickknacks. Um, I got some stuff listed. We got ready for the Halloween sale. And I even got some knickknacks stickers up and listed. So that was really exciting. Uh, I'm probably going to head home now. Um, but I know a lot of you were with me the other night for my whatnot sale when we had these crazy gusts of wind, like just ripping down the road. It was insane. Um, and I did film some of the aftermath at the house. So um, I wasn't sure how to incorporate it in a video. So why not just tack it on here at the end? So I'll show you guys some of the damage around the house. We got to figure out how to deal with it. But um, we did lose the trampoline. <laughs> so, so enjoy, enjoy. Um, and uh, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'll see you on knickknacks for um, the Halloween sale. And I'll definitely see you tomorrow for a YouTube video. So um, have a great evening and uh, so long. So there's the aftermath. There's the window and the branch. I just broke the outer pane, but I'm gonna have to call the glass company today and get that figured out. Here's another branch. There's our patio, all the furniture. The, the freaking table is <laughs> falling over. <laughs> and then over here, what's that spot right there? Oh, you know what that was? That was our trampoline. It's not there anymore. It's gone. <laughs> There's a random, random lid. clients and there it is there's the trampoline <laughs> in the apple tree <laughs> oh, shoot. so this is how my monday's going i haven't even looked at the front yard yet i don't know what's going on in the front yard and it looks like we lost the tree in the front yard down there in the corner I'll have to have somebody come out and maybe put that up. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Mm. It could be worse. What happened? <coughs> Laurel, that's probably not a good idea. Come on, give me your hand. Laurel, get off. Laurel. Well, Jude. Come here. <laughs> You're so bad. Come here, Laurel. Come to mommy. Mommy can't get up there. <gasps> Come here. Come here. Hey, look, I have this. Come here, grab, grab, I grab. Get you, got you, good baby.